and good morning and welcome back to New Beginnings. What a beautiful place this is. Right, and let's get on, shall we? Um, I hope you're all well and keeping safe. And there's a lot we need to look at in here today. Now, I've cleared this area off. And I've cleared down there. Now, some important things to know. Campfires, wherever you put a campfire in an area 48 blocks in each direction no mobs will spawn so they're very good so you don't necessarily have to light up everywhere so I suppose if we were to put a campfire 96 blocks that way we would have an area all of that because then it would be that 48 and that 48 so these are way way too close but it just lights up the area so that's the first thing to bear in mind. Campfires are very important. Now, as Mrs. GP and I were coming up here, we picked up loads of berry bushes because until we get the farm going, we are not going to have much food. Oh, they're a bit like cobwebs if you get in them. Ready? Look. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Now also as well, uh, this is a grape bush. Now when it first starts, it's a little tiny dot there. But if you leave it like that, nothing will actually happen. Like with real grapes, there's something you have to do to them. Um, uh, let's have a look. I've got six of those. We need to make some fences. So if we just go uh, fence and we've got birch so let's see how many can we make oh we can make quite a lot that's good now this should work with birch fences what we've got to do is attach a fence each side and what's going to happen is the bush is going to grow out over that and we'll have some grapes here mm. So I'm thinking I might put those along here. Because let's have a look at grapes. Go grapes. There. So they're two and one and a half. And what have I got here? So actually grapes are much better initially than like the fruit that I'm just throwing away. But also as well, grapes... What can we do? We can make jam out of them. Or grape seeds, obviously, which is what I'll do. A nice little fruit salad. Sounds nice. Or raise look wow. So if I cook the grapes, look at that as a simple food. That's four chicken haunches. That's not a bad food, actually. I hadn't noticed that before. So I've cleared out a bit of area here. And I've planted some trees so we can get some wood. And I've also planted the sugar cane. Remembered what it is this time. So that's growing. And we've got a bit of a farm going over here. I think these are pumpkins. Whoop. No, those are... Yeah, those are pumpkins. These are melons. This is wheat. Ooh. Oh, and I've made the mattock. I didn't make the blue thing for it. Here we are. The blue pattern. The blue thing. It's Which is that one. I used the wooden one. You can only use it once. It's very important to remember that. But if you put planks in that order with two sticks, you get the pattern. And then all you have to do is you put the pattern in your crafting table. You'd actually have to put it in a crafting table. Because I think you need, let's have a look, uh, the mattock recipe, there we go. You sort of need four pieces of stone and some, and some sticks to make it, so it's kind of big. Now, here I have planted, this is wheat, I've got the line of wheat coming. Then these are oats, that's lettuce. And that is soya bean. That's tomatoes. 
Where's my tomato seeds? Oh, because I'm not sure about you, but when I'm... If we look up what tomatoes are used for, can't. I'll give you a hint. There are three sorts of burgers. Look at the hamburger. That feeds you so well. And you need lettuce and tomatoes and steak. But if we look at the veggie burger, I've actually got the tofu here. Or soya bean, because, and I'm pretty sure, hang on, that that makes tofu. Soya, soya bean seeds. Soya bean is simple farming. And what do we use that for? Let's have a quick look. Oh, I hope we do. Tofu. Oh, okay. So I just cook. Oh, it was right. I cook it. And then we've got that. So we d can have a veggie option. And we can have burgers. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm thinking that's a good result. Oh, and I took the sauce water there as well. That was... Uh, so I can put more here. Because, because we're in 15, oh sorry, 1.15, point two, we can waterlog the water, which means we walk on it. Now, once we get pumpkins, I'm going to put something here, and something here, and that's called, in. you can get scarecrows, scarecrow, but we need a pumpkin head, I've got the leather, we need a whole bale of oats, hay, you know, that sort of thing, and a stick. But the scarecrow, it's really handy, because if I was to j jump on that accidentally, although I didn't do it accidentally, but if I did and I was running around, it gets rid of the farmland. However, where you put a scarecrow, for 10 blocks around the scarecrow, your farmland is safe. So I'm going to put one here. And one over there, so that then I can't, nothing can destroy this. Well, short of a creeper, obviously, but... Uh, now, those little nodes, those little tiny flying little uh, almost invisible balls we saw, you may notice there aren't any around here. And there's a reason for that. Because it's called Aura. Because I've actually been looking up what we needed to do. And by planting things and chopping down all the grass and everything, we've actually been destroying it. Now, if you destroy too much aura in an area, bad things happen. So I've had to make this. And I'll show you this. Here we are. Let's go to that. So if we go to Natural Aura, there's the book. Two pieces of paper, a piece of leather, and a sapling will give you the book. Now, the book is very important, but I'm not taking it with me, because... Oh, loads of seeds here. Strawberries. Uh, raspberries, put them in there. And the rye seeds, and put those up there, just get this tidy. Because the downside is, what I do need to make this work, unfortunately, is gold. Hmm. Because the first thing we need for nature's aura is there are some plants you can find if you've got a desert. We haven't got a desert. So, as the sun is setting, I, the brave GP, will go mining. Because bizarrely enough, Mrs. GP's found a little place over there. You know what she's like. She just finds a place to dig. So, I'm going to have a sleep. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to head down and go do some mining. And I'll bring you back when I've done some mining. Or, if I find anything interesting.
Okay, so ta-da for now. I'll be right back. And welcome back. It's I've already run down the hill. But listen to the noise of the jungle. Can you hear? Just, it's alive with life, which is amazing. And hello, piggy. And as we move away, it changes. We haven't got many birds here. Now, I don't know if that's because of all the changes I've done to the aura. But we will find out when we get some gold. Oh, actually, I think there's a tunnel underneath as well. Let's head to Mrs. GP's mine. And strawberries. Because then with any luck, by the time we get back... <laughs> We've got some food. No. Oh, look. We've got a melon grown. But I need the pumpkins to grow. Let's go see Mrs. GP's mine, shall we? And listen to that. But also, I've kept you here as well, because listen to the noise as we go down into the tunnel. Slowly it fades. Oh. Now listen to this. You ready? Isn't that amazing? That sound. It's so echoes. It's incredible. Oh, let's pick these up. Although, don't forget... Always make sure you've got a way out. Okay, I'll see you in a bit as I go deeper and deeper. Because I just need some gold. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Hello. Well, I'm back. Very, very unsuccessful um, trip. I use nearly all my berries because they're not really a very good food. Uh, just after you've had one you have to have some more so what I am going to do how are they doing no I'm going to grow a few crops make some decent food and then we will head back down again so I'll be back with you in a minute let's just get some food going because I want to be able to get down there. Oh, I could start cooking some of those. Okay, but I'll be with you back in a minute. Hello again. I just sort of bring you back while I'm growing all these things for lunch. And as you can see, the grape bush has grown onto the fences. So the next stage will be some grapes. And then from grapes, I can get another fence over there. And I can slowly start to have a nice terrace of grapes. Okay. Um, I'll be back shortly. See you soon. And welcome back. Still loads of things going on. What this is, is now we're going to make the better crafting bench. So if you type in craft and go to or crafting station, it will list this one. So we need planks, a crafting table, a chest, but the upgrade base, I need a piece of stone for, oh, not, there we are, piece of stone, and then I'll show you just what I've done with those, so if we go here, so we go crafting station, we want one of these, we will use these upgrade base again, and what's missing? A chest. Oh, you know what I did? I'll probably use them. There we go. There we go there. Yeah, I know. Come on, thank you. There. And now we can put the crafting station next to there. And I'll have a quick kip. And I'll show you why we do that. Right. 
because it has storage next to it and I'm going to put my patterns in there and that because that makes a lot of sense this chest is for the stuff that uh, we've mined or this is GP's mind there's an obituary in there and that's what you get when you die um, I, I will show you here we are what it says it says who's died oh exactly where but also all the things that person was actually had with them at the time and this one I'm putting mob drops into that includes white wool yes and the paper I'm going to put in here because that's sort of crafting and I realized as well that I've got some pumpkin heads so now we can make um, a scarecrow or two hopefully I've got stone and other so that's stone that's things like sand dirt gravel clay that's wood logs and made of wood and that seeds and food and mob drops and mine stuff so I've got things fairly organized however the next thing to do is we need a bucket oh let's put that in there that goes in there my old katana but I don't actually want why have I got two buckets that's really weird I think I might have glitched a bucket we'll find out when I use them I'm going to go fill up with water now because if I have glitched one then I'll throw one away because I had 13 pieces of iron and I've got 10 now but two buckets very strange so let's have a look shall we Oop. I'm not sure what happened there um, okay so by the looks of things as long as I've still got 10 bits of art in yep okay I'll throw one away because it looks like one glitched somehow and we can start looking at what we've got here yeah that's better I can bring those steps down that's working all right and so let us see because I still need to make some bundles Whoop. some grow well some don't and I don't know if that's anything to do with the aura but soya bean we need one two three wheat seeds soya bean seeds I need three Boop. there we go we have three seeds so I'm thinking these aren't growing too well that's the lettuce so that might be a need a hotter place I need one more tomato seed uh, tomato seed we're going to plant that at the end so they're doing well and look the pumpkins aren't doing well at all here so I'm pretty sure it has got some factor so we might have to think about what we're actually going to eat oh, the rice seems to be doing okay because once we find out what grows well here then we can start to is there one in there? yes there is these are cotton plants and cotton makes string now how many is it is it two hang on or is it four uh, it is four to make a wall block but the great thing is oh if I can do this properly I can make the white wool and I can turn it into string and then I can turn the string into wool so it is incredibly useful Okie dokie. 
So the melons aren't doing too badly. Pumpkins, they're doing terribly. These are the ones that we picked up on the way over here. So let's see if we can make us some scarecrows. And I've already harvested the trees once. We'll just let those go. But because of this uh, nature's aura, I'm trying... Oh, no, nope, still no grapes. Trying not to do too much to the local area until I get the thing. Until I get some gold, because then I can figure out what I'm doing. Right, so let's put all these bits away. Then we have the foodie bits. So, we can make another one of wheat. Okay. We need nine wheat. I'm going to take the barley and the rice. And if you click in a space and press P, sorry, I've, I've highlighted the P. So if you go to controls, inventory sorting, one of these will be good for you. Oh, where's my crafting? So, uh, we go for nine wheat. That gives us a hay bale. Superb. We need the shears. So we need two pumpkin heads. Uh, okay. So I can't use flint shears on them. I have to use metal shears. So let's put the flint shears in here. I've got loads of pumpkin seeds. But the other thing we can make... Noodles. And noodles... What's a nice simple thing we can do with noodles? Oh look! Noodles and tomato make spaghetti. Wow, that was easy. So if we make, and we can actually do it there. So if we went to that, and we see how many tomatoes we've got. 13, we only need 9. That's the great thing about this. How did I do that? There we go. Oh, I see. But I've now got four spaghettis. And that, look at that's going to make a big difference when I actually get to it. However, let's make some scarecrows. Now we've done that. Scarecrow. I need four leather, which is from the drops. Oh, that's a shame. But I'd rather have them trample free. What else do I need? I have no sticks. Okay. That's one scarecrow. What do we need for the other one? I need the hay bale. Which I probably put there. But I, according to... Yep, you can use any form of bale. There we are. Let's go see what these guys look like, shall we? Whoop! Still no grapes, but loads of little bits of fruit. Because what I will try and do as well, let's put one here. Hello. Oh, wow. Well, they're really quite cool, aren't they? And we put one over here, and we're going to test this out. You ready? Look! Yep, we are certainly trample safe now. Oh, they just don't want to grow. Okay, so that's an improvement we've already made. 
tomatoes. And I think it's going to be finding one of these that grows quickly and well. Because, although it is wheat at the moment, I think, is the main contender. We don't have... Mm. It's a shame because I need the lettuce to grow. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, I can't spell today. Nope. Do you know what? I'm just going to cheat. Boop. Okay. All right. I was right. So a lettuce. No, it doesn't seem to ha Oh. <laughs> I looked and went, oh! I thought I had a mob coming for me. Okay, I'll be back soon. And let's just go and have a kip. Because we've learnt some things today, but there's still more things I need to do. See you in a minute. So here we are, back again. So what I am going to do, I'm going to let the food grow for a bit longer because I'm thinking melons are lovely but I'm thinking it's going to be the rice is doing well as with the wheat so I'm going to let them have a little race and then I'm pretty sure the oats are not too good for this area but then I've got to go mining and that might take a while because unfortunately I've got to oh here we are let's have some getty I've got to go right the way down to get some gold. And we need gold because I want to get into Nature's Aura's uh, mod pack. Because I want to see how much aura have we got. And actually there is one other thing. I wonder if it, I can make it. Nature. There it is. The compass. Oh and I need a compass and I need some redstone. So I've got to get gold and redstone. So, I think, without further ado, let's stand on a chest, as is, and, oh, 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 quick, don't stand on furnaces, kids, it's not good for you. So, campfire's great, 48 block radius around each, way too close. Scarecrows, stop the trampling. Watch out for your aura, and get gold and redstone, and I think by the time we get to the next episode... I will have gold and redstone and we can start and find out exactly what this nature's aura is doing to us. Until then, this is GP signing off saying uh, goodbye, take care and you all be safe. And especially the Hillies, Kaka, Galaxy Paws and HR Dog. Take care all and be safe, especially in these times. Ta-da for now.